Welcome back to the Kitchen Sink Art Class. I'm Camilla, and I feel the most at home in my kitchen. I hope that you do too. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make these fabulous Valentine fascinators. I've included some links in the video description to help you along your way. I hope that you'll invite some of your friends over to your kitchen to make these fabulous three-dimensional works of art. It's always a good idea to get your friends together when you're trying new things. I invited a group of my friends over to help show me how to make Valentine fascinators. I'd love to bring you into our get together, introduce you to my friends and our favorite art room helper, Cheyenne. So come with me. I have two standard poodles, Cheyenne and Harley. They are the best art room helpers. Cheyenne wants you to know that you can create a fascinator out of virtually anything. There's only a few must-haves from this list. The first must-haves are your choice of comb, hair clip, or headband. I found the metal combs to hold my fascinator together nicely. Valentine findings from the craft store are fun but optional, along with artificial flowers. You will need wire, hot glue, and scissors. Cinema is a milliner's textile that I ordered online. It was expensive, although fun to work with. There's a link to a tutorial using it in the description under my video. Rooster feathers, Valentine garland, toile, and you can make almost anything out of felt. Come on into the party. We're right in the middle of creating together. We created our fascinators by first bringing our favorite materials to the table. Each of us picked out the things that we thought would be fun to work with. We spread them out on the table along with our snacks and just began using trial and error. We employed a variety of techniques from sewing to working with found objects like playing cards. We really helped each other out and took our time to experiment. Here are the results of our working from the drinking straw arrow to the playing card. Beautiful job with a little party decoration on the end there. Meet Hosanna. Her theme was Alice in Wonderland. Hosanna certainly is wonderful in her very sky high fascinator. This is Jessie. Jessie used felt and cut out strips and twirled them into little roses. Isn't she adorable? Cheyenne is modeling the fascinator made out of the milliner's material called cinema, which was really fun to work with. This is Crystal and her drinking straw arrow. Crystal also put together some adorable wreaths for her front door. The link to the tutorial for how to work with this material is under the description of the video. And Laura used her artificial flowers for one of her fascinators and crafted hearts that she got at the craft store for the other. Here we all are. Thank you for stopping by the kitchen sink art class. I hope you find time to make these fascinating fascinators. Each and every one of us was born to create. Whether you're making a spreadsheet, planting something in your yard, or cooking up something fabulous in the kitchen, just keep creating. Have a fascinating day.